good morning children today class we going to discuss about the sexual reproduction in the last class we completed asexual reproduction in plants so this class we going to see about sexual reproduction in plants what is sexual reproduction here the gametes are involved so gamete production and as well as fusion of the gametes is known as the asexual reproduction so the first gamete formation that process is known as gametogenesis gamete genesis means formation gamete formation is known as gametogenesis then male and female gamete fusion is occur no that second stage that process is called the fertilization so now this class we can discuss about detailedly about this reproduction so in the plants already we studied the uh, which is the uh, vegetative part and reproductive part of the plants so plant root system and shoot system that is leaves and it is called as the vegetative part of the plant and condensed shoot modification only we can called as the flower that flower only known as the uh, reproductive organ of plants so the flower only reproductive part of the plants the external structure that is the morphology of the vegetative part and the reproductive part of the plants last year we studied okay so the last year both the topic that is vegetative morphology and the reproductive morphology of the plants we studied then it is a multi dimensional perception it will be there for this flower so any celebrations we use this flowers only flowers we are using and it is used for the some uh, preparation that is the industries they are preparing the perfumes and some of the national flags the flowers are embedded and uh, the poets are inspirational tool this flower so many aspects it will be there for this flower and what are the holes it will be seen in this flower okay so we can see the four holes of the flower the outermost green color hole it will be called as calyx and colorful layer second layer it will be called as corolla then third hole it will be called as andrisium and fifth hole it will be called gynesium so this is the four holes of the flower so outer two calyx and corolla this two it will be called as the non essential part of the flower and andrisium and gynesium this two holes it will be called as essential part of the flower because it is directly involved in the reproduction then sexual reproduction involves the three stages pre fertilization fertilization and post fertilization three stages it will be there in the flower okay three changes it will be occur the first stage is pre fertilization structure and events so normally it is the condensed shoot system no here they will be having some of the hormonal and structural changes in the plant that tissue it will be get differentiated into the floral primordium and that structure some events it is involved before the fertilization that events we can discuss in this chapter the first one that is the male reproductive part we going to discuss because it is the essential part of the flower it is involved in the reproduction so that is the andrisium portion it is made up of the stamen okay the stamens so the stamen it will be enclosed anther and filament okay the anther only bears the pollen grain that is yellow color no it is contain the pollen grains that pollen grain only represent the male gamete of white now we can see the development of anther 
see the picture here antrisium so yellow color anther and green color filament the anther enclosing the hole and grain young anther it will be developed from the homogeneous mass of tissue okay this tissue it will be covered by one outer layer that outer layer only we can called as epidermis then during the development time it will be having four lobed structure see here it will be shows the four lobed structure upper two it will be a larger in structure and the lower portion of the anther it will be a smaller in structure it become enlarged enlarged structure it will be seen then inside of that epidermal layer some cell cell cells it will be get modified and it become a enlarged and they contain the nucleus also conspicuous nucleus and it will be act as archosporial cell archosporium then that archosporium cells divides periclinally 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 means horizontally it will be divide and forms the two layer of the cells two type um, two cells it will be produced outer cell it will be called parietal cell outer parietal and inner cells it will be act as the sporogenous tissue that is primary sporogenous cells so outer is the very um, parietal cell and inner cells it will be called the primary sporogenous tissue it is inner to the anther the primary parietal cells again it is undergoing anticlinal division and periclinal division that means horizontal and vertical division and forms the 2 to 5 layers the 2 to 5 layers tissues it will be forms the many layers that layers are endothelium middle layer and tapetum so it will be forms from outer to center region that is peripheral region to center region this three layers together we can call the anther wall endothelium middle layer and tapetum so outer to inner layer this three layers together only we can called as anther wall now we going to see about the microsporogenesis microsporogenesis means microspores nothing but pollen grain genesis means formation microspores formation so this microspores formed from diploid microspore mother cells that diploid microspore mother cell when it is undergoing meiosis division meiosis division means reduction and division so reduction and division that is 2n condition reduced into n condition now it will be forms the haploid microspores that formation only called as microsporogenesis see here it is the diploid cell it is undergoing the meiosis cell division and forms the tetrad pollens that tetrad pollens it will be get separate it forms the four haploid pollen grains then primary sporogenous tissue some tissues it will be repeatedly undergoing the mitotic cell division so it forms the sporogenous tissue sporogenous tissue it will be forms so sporogenous tissue it will be undergoes the what cell division mitotic cell division last generation of sporogenous tissue only function as the microspore mother cell that mother cell only undergoing meiosis cell division and forms the four haploid microspores it beginning it will be attached later it will be separated this is called as pollen grain in some plants the pollen grains are not separated and it will be joined together held together it will be called as pollinium pollinium also important question example this pollinium it will be seen in calotropis 
and sometimes this pollinium it will be attached to clamp or clip like structure sticky substance it will be seen between that the pollen grains it is called as the carpusculum the filament like thread like part it will be seen in the pollinium is called the retinaculum and whole structure when it is observed no it is looks like a letter y so that letter y like structure it will be called the translator so in this question very importance that is development of the what is the pollen grains and uh, pollinium corpusculum retinaculum then translator so next class we can see the ts of mature anther this class we going to discuss about the ts of mature anther ts transfer section of mature anther so while if you see in the section so it shows the anther wall so that anther wall it will be multi layered so what are the function that layer and inner that lobule okay how it will be having the, the pollen grain going to study in this topic transfer section of the mature anther shows the two lobes bilobule so in that bilobules each one it will be con contain the dithecus two thecus that's why it is called as the dithecus anther suppose the anther will be having only one thecus means it is come under the monothecus that monothecus example for the uh, plant is ibiscus now we can see the anther wall so anther wall so outer to inner the first layer is epidermis then endothecium then third one middle layer and fourth one tapetum okay so the first we can see the epidermis layer so outer layer what is the major function protecting in function so it is made up of single layer single layered and protecting function so these cells undergo in the repeatedly anticlinal division so and it will be produce enlarge and it forms the internal tissue then come to the second layer endothecium endothecium also single layer cells okay radially elongated cells and uh, in a transgenital wall thickening it will be seen in these cells endothecium cells thickening that thickening it will be made up of this cellulose some cells it will be shows the transgenital wall thickening radial wall thickening that radial wall thickening it is made up of the lignin okay some cells it will be having transgenital wall thickening so it is made up of cellulose sometimes it is made up of the what is that radial wall also and slightly lignified tissues it will be present then in the all the species it not contain this substance band and especially in the aquatic plants it is absent because this band it will be a hydroscopic in nature then aquatic plant saprophytic plant parasitic plants and the clistothecious flowers clistothecious flowers means the flower doesn't open before opening itself the pollination takes place in that plants okay that type of the plants also the band is absent because this band is hydroscopic in nature okay water it will be absorbed water like in portion hydroscopic in nature cells along the junction of two microsporangium the thickening it will be a absent okay thickening is absent that cells it will be called as the stromium and this region also what is the nature hydroscopic in nature and absorb the water during the maturity it will be dehiscent uh, uh, and release the pollen grain out 
मिडिल लेयर मिडिल लेयर टू टू थ्री लेयर्स ओके इट इज नेक्स्ट टू द एंडोथीसियम वी कैन सी द मिडिल लेयर एंड नॉर्मली दी सेल्स आर ओनली वन आर टू डेज ओनली प्रेजेंट सो दैट्स वाई वी कैन कॉल द एपीमीरल्स एंड आफ्टर दैट इट विल बी डिसइंटीग्रेटेड आर क्रस्ट बाय द क्रस्ट बाय मेच्यूरिटी सो दैट्स वाई इट इज कॉल्ड द एपीमीरल नेक्स्ट लेयर इज टपीटम ओके टपीटम लेयर सी हियर टपीटम लेयर इट इज द इनर मोस्ट लेयर ऑफ द एंथर एंड मैक्सिमम डेवलपमेंट इट विल बी टेक्स प्लेस एट दि विच स्टेज टेट्रा टेट्रेड स्टेज दट मीन फोर इट विल बी सीन हियर माइक्रोस्पोरजियम फोर इट विल बी सीन हियर इन दट टाइम इट विल बी कंप्लीट डेवलपमेंट इट विल बी सीन एंड विच प्लेस इट विल बी डिराइव्ड ओके सो इट द ऑरिजिन इट विल बी टू प्लेसेस सो डिड पार्टली फ्रम पेरीफेरल लेयर ओके पेरीफेरल लेयर एंड पार्टली फ्रम कनेक्टेड टिश्यूस बोथ द लेयर्स इट विल बी गिविंग एंड इट विल बी एनक्लोज इन दि एंथर लोब्स सो दट्स वाई इट इस कॉल दि ड्यूवल ऑरिजिन पार्टली इट विल बी कम फ्रम वॉट इज दट पेरीफेरल बॉल एंड पार्टली कम फ्रम दि कनेक्टेड टिश्यू सो दट्स वाई ड्यूवल ऑरिजिन then microsporogenous tissue and the microspore mother cell and microspores everything it will be nourished by this tapetum okay nutrition it will be given by this tapetum layer okay three type of the cells it will be nourished by this tapetum cells only tapetum cells they enclose in the nucleus okay so how many nucleus it will be present means some of the tapetum cells it will be remains only one nucleus that is uninucleated some more than one it will be contain okay that is called the polyploidy okay polyploidy so one or or more than one it will be seen in the tapetum cell then this tapetum cell what are the contributing to the that uh, organs okay the wall material pollen wall it will be produce producing or sporopollenin pollen kit then trifin so number of proteins it will be uh, produced by this layer only and it will be controlling the incompatibility reactions incompatibility reaction during the pollination time this reaction responding through this tapetum only then also it will be controlling the fertility sterility okay so it will be controlled by that tapetum layer only in the pollen grains tapetum it is classified into two types based on their behavior how it is behave based upon that it will be classified into secretory tapetum and invasive tapetum secretory tapetum what is the other names parietal tapetum glandular tapetum or cellular tapetum so the tapetum where it is originated which position it will be present it retain in the same and cellular integrity and nourishing okay developing the microscope this it will create invasive tapetum that is the periplasmodial tapetum other name so it these cells it will be loosely arranged so tangentially radial wall it will be loosely arranged then protoplasm of the this tapetal cell collapses and forms the periplasmodium so all it will be fused together no like structure it will be seen this uh, invasive tapetum cells now come to the functions for tapetum cell this tapetal cell function the first one supplying the nutrition because it only nourishing the pollen grain mother cell sporogenous tissue and microsporangium so it supplying the nourishment to the microspores microspores nothing but what is the pollen grains and contribute the sporopollenin sporopollenin upis bodies okay so that means it is useful for the formation of pollen wall formation of pollen wall so 
that is sporopollenin then pole and kit material contributing layer is tapetum okay next it will be transfer the pole and surface that pole and kit only act as the pole and surface then the pollen when it is transferred that is the pollination is occur no so in that place all the pollen grains are not germinated and produce in the pollen tube so because rejection re uh, reactions it will be controlled by this tapetum only because uh, pollen grain it having the two protective covers that is exine and intine so exine cover it is responsible for rejection reaction okay this species pollen it is accepted or it is a rejected like that response it will be given by this exine layer now come to the anther wall anther wall it will be over so in the anther wall what are the layers we can see epidermis endodermis middle layers tapetum okay and tapetum types and function next one anther cavity inside of the anther wall anther cavity this anther cavity filled with the microspores in young stage or pollen grains in mature stage okay when it is matured it will be converted into the pollen grains it is undergoing the meiotic cell division and the um, microspore mother cell it will be divided and the producing a plant pollen grain or microspores so anther cavity then next one is connective tissue it will be present in the middle okay so in the middle so this tissue it is the sterile tissue sterile means unfertile tissue it is not producing any pollen grains it uh, this connective tissue surrounded by only anther lobes it will be contained and they it is supplying the what are the needed for that plants okay that tissue so nutrition it will be supplied it is the vascular tissue for this anther and it will be contribute the in